Say you want to move this entire cam pad and you want to place it at a different part of the map, but you want the same movement as you have it right now. First, let's deselect that first anchor point, right? So select nine. I want to lay this entire cam path. Um, let's do it over here. Let's put it right here. This position, this angle that I'm at right now, I want this one to be the first anchor point of that old cam path. So what we do is we type in Merv cam path, edit, anchor, number zero, and then current. So let's hit enter and we'll see what happens. Cool. So look at that. So remember how in spawn, zero was off to the side and the other anchor points were sort of over here and laid out. As you can see, we got a little too close to the wall there. We can easily just move this back. So three isn't clipping through the wall. Okay, there we go. All right, so the cam path just moved itself in relation to zero using that anchor command. So say we wanna save this cam path. All we do is we type Merv cam path, save, and then we give it a name, okay? Let's call this tutorial cam path, okay? It's saved. Now, say we're working, 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 right? And we accidentally clear it. Lucky for us, we saved it. Super easy thing to do. Just type in Merv cam path load, and we type in the name of it, which is tutorial cam path. And voila, it's back again. Okay, so now that we saved the cam path, it's actually really important to know where these get saved to. So we're gonna navigate over to your Steam folder. We're gonna go to Steam apps. We're gonna go to common. And then we're just gonna go over to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of these weird files, right? That don't even have file names. And they're all two kilobytes big. These are our cam path files. So if you ever need to manipulate these files, or if you wanna change the positional or angle data yourself, or you ever wanna delete them, to, uh, to save space, this is where you go to access your cam path save files, okay? There's actually a way that you can load this cam path into another map, and then using the cam path edit anchor command, we can position it exactly where we want it. We have this cam path in Inferno. Let's hop over to another map. Cool, we're in train. Now what's great about when you load a demo from another demo, everything actually transfers over, so including cam paths, and I'll show you what I mean. We'll type Merv cam path print, and you see our cam path from Inferno is actually already loaded loaded in, but it's not going to be in the right spot. A lot of the time, it's actually going to be outside the map. So this one, yep, this one managed to find its way clipped in the brushes here. But as you can see, it's the same as that cam path from Inferno, right? It's just in the wrong position. In this instance, we don't have to load it in, right? We can just switch demos and it'll already be loaded. In. Let's say you had this great idea after the fact. You got done editing for the day and you're like, oh, you know what would be really cool is if we did the same cam path movement from one demo to another. But unfortunately, you don't have the cam path loaded. What we can do is first load it in because remember we saved it. So it's going to be Merv cam path load tutorial cam path. And now we have to reposition it. Okay. Cause we don't like where that positioning is right now. All right. I want to transition from that part inferno right outside of T spawn. And I want to transition into T into CT spawn. So I want the beginning of the camp path to start here. This is gonna be my zero anchor point, if you remember correctly. So what we do is we go into console, we type in Merv camp path, edit anchor, zero current, and voila. This part right here where I'm at is now our zero anchor point, okay? And the entire camp path now extends out beyond from this point. All right, cool. All of these basic commands will help you achieve more advanced effects and transitions as you play and you tinker with them. I'm sure with this tutorial, we'll see some great things out of you in no time.